public art is very important for places like East Los Angeles because East Los Angeles had a big movement in the 60s. We call it the Chicano movement. And one of the expressions of it was art. Um, the people marched, they protested, they organized, but they had this amazing art that was popping up on all the walls. Because of all the graffiti, people started using the walls to paint actual acrylic, beautiful, amazing murals. Um, and we became, for a time, uh, the area with more murals per capita than any place in the country. There was murals on almost every wall. And, I, and to me, that woke me up because I was a gang member, I was a drug user, um, I was in the streets, I was homeless. And when I would see this art, it really spoke to me. And I remember taking my dad to one of the big art pieces, and he didn't like it. He was a working class guy, very practical, and he was getting mad, you know, they're wasting time, you know, they should work, you know, all this kind of stuff. I wanted him to see the amazing art, but it really spoke to me. So what happened is for me, I became a muralist. I was doing all those graffiti pieces and when I, I, was, I was home, I was on a uh, dropout, I was hanging in the streets and this guy at a cultural center said, why don't you learn to paint murals? And I said, I don't know how to do that. He says, well, we'll teach you. But he only promised, he only wanted me to do it if I went back to school. So I got a job one summer painting. We painted eight murals that year. Uh, acrylic, big, we learned. I went to the Goez Art uh, Gallery off of 1st Street, right there in East LA. They taught us how to do basic murals, how to prep a wall, the whole thing. And I had 13 gang kids and I was 17 years old. And even though I was still using heroin and I was still in the gang street, I had this new option in my life, art. So I painted these eight murals. Uh, all of them are gone now. I still have pictures of them. But it's, um, it's kind of sad that they all got whitewashed. But the point is, they kind of woke me up to some possibilities I didn't know existed. To the point that by the time I got to be about 18, 19 years old, I actually quit the drugs. I quit gangs. I spent the last time in jail then. And I began to make this big move, a big shift to living a kind of artistic, creative writer's life. That was really the beginning. It took me a while, but in other words, that impulse was what, what I needed to think of another way to live. You know, for a while, LA became the graffiti capital. We used to be the mural capital, then we became the graffiti capital. And people from all over the city, but also around the country and other parts of the world would come here, and the big major walls are all these walls along the wash, um, along the river. In other words, you had these plain walls. And it's probably, in my view, better than the businesses and people's homes, you know, to just use these walls. Um, and for like 20, 30 years, people were painting amazing stuff and this is as you know more colorful big lettering a lot more images um, I thought when I was coming by here and seeing all this art I thought that's perfect that's what it should be and it got to the point that there was so much art and all the, the, the underpasses and everything that people around the world that I know for a fact from New Zealand from Italy from Japan around the world England would come here just to see that they wouldn't go to Disneyland they wouldn't go to the beach they hated Hollywood they wanted to come here to see this art take pictures uh, make movies, documentaries. In other words, it, we became an underground art place for the world. The graffiti abatement programs came in. Millions of dollars to get rid of all the graffiti. Uh, some of it, you know, went, got rid of graffiti in the buildings and in the houses and in the businesses, but unfortunately they went crazy on the, on the LA River. And millions and millions of dollars to destroy this artwork. And now, as you can tell, it's very barren, doesn't look that hot, you know. Um, and a lot of artists have put amazing pieces and they came back and got arrested and or got their pieces destroyed. And here's the funny thing right now in the LA uh, city, they don't do not put any money to do um, public mural projects. It's really a shame. We used to be this great mural capital, this great graffiti capital, and now uh, we're destroying even that. That's, I, I think it's important for young people to have a place, resources, skills, talents, uh, to get their art on the walls.